Hello and welcome to Paraber Consumer Software's updating your iRig recovery stick tutorial. Before we begin, before we begin um, you can visit us at www.paraben-sticks.com support for more support tutorials and to contact us with any other support questions you might have. So the iRecovery stick has an automatic update feature. It is free to update at any time, so we recommend every time you launch a product, go ahead and click on Tools, and then click on Check for Updates. If there's a new version, it will automatically download it and install it. Sometimes, though, you can't even run the software because something has deleted the um, software from the stick. Maybe an antivirus, maybe you accidentally um, deleted all the data from the stick, and you can't even run the software to check for updates. In that case, we have our offline updater. Now, to do the offline updater, go to our website at paraben-sticks.com and come and click on the support link. Then find the iRecovery Stick link here. Click on that. Next, we're going to find the Update Your Stick link. Click on that. And here we have the offline updater instructions. Now you can follow these instructions yourself and get the, the stick updated, but we'll walk through that process now. So when you come and you click on the download the iRecovery Stick updater, what's going to happen is you're going to download that uh, software, and depending on your browser, it may um, download it to a folder called Downloads, or it may actually, when it's complete, completed the download, it may just pop up a message that says, do you want to run the software? If it does that, click yes, you want to run the software. In our case, um, we have downloaded it to the downloads folder and you can see here the um, software is iRecovery update, uh, updater.exe. So I double click on that and I say yes, I want to run this software. Now it's going to extract the software um, and it's going to have this little um, extracting updater package but for the sake of time I've already extracted that and this is what you're going to see once that is extracted. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this folder here and we're going to change the destination folder. So scroll down until you find iRecovery Stick. Now it doesn't matter what letter is after this, your computer will sign its own letter but we're looking for the iRecovery Stick. If you don't have the iRecovery Stick plugged in um, then you're not going to be able to see that and sometimes you might actually have um, messed up the iRecovery Stick so much that it doesn't show up, but if you know that the drive letter for that um, iRecovery Stick um, is a certain drive letter, you can select that drive. Now the update won't work if that isn't the legitimate iRecovery Stick because it won't have the licensing information on there. But we click on that and we hit OK. And what's going to happen is we're going to come up with this window. This window is going to come show up and it's going to show um, this series of, of events happening as it updates the stick. Once that completes, then your iRecovery stick will be updated to an older version. So what you're going to have to do is unplug the iRecovery stick, plug it in again, and run the software. And now it may ask you to um, install the driver, I'm sorry, the driver pack again. If it does, just follow the instructions and, and install the driver's pack. And then it will open up the iRecovery stick interface and then again, we're going to want to come up to Tools and check for updates one more time, and it will update your iRecovery Stick to the newest version. And that's how we update our iRecovery Stick.